Welcome back and let's go ahead and jump right on into our convective outlook from the Storm Prediction Center. So far throughout the week, we've seen increases in especially today's scenario going from a slight and marginal risk encumbrance encompassing our area, which is this yellow and dark green to now including and encompassing our entire area underneath an enhanced risk outlook for severe weather. But that's not even the highest category that we see on our model on our map right here. That's this red, a moderate risk for severe weather. So throughout the week so far and really from that last severe storm scenario in April, that I-35 corridor extending southwest past Kansas City into Kansas has been a focal point for all the severe weather across Kansas, Missouri, and Iowa over the last few weeks and into that last month. But overall, we are seeing increased chances for strong to potentially severe storms extending farther and farther east as the day has gone on. That's why we've seen gone from that slight and marginal to enhanced to being just outside of that uh, moderate category. But this isn't the only round. We have round number two headed our way over the course of Thursday afternoon, but the system tonight will linger into the early Thursday morning hours, but good news is it'll start to taper off as you're getting up and getting out the door to work tomorrow, so you won't see that kind of an impact on your morning commute. However, we will be looking for some straggling showers to continue cycling their way through uh, the day today in towards the early afternoon hours when we start to see thunderstorm potential picking back up. Not the severe weather potential just yet. That's later on in the evening hours, just about 9 to 10 p.m. And it's that line of showers and storms right there. We refer to this as a linear system. It's not a uh, dysfunctional or spotty supercell, localized supercell or mesocyclone uh, storm system. It's a linear system. It is a straight line as we see here with multiple thunderstorms picking up right along a frontal boundary. And what that is very, very conductive for is strong damaging wind gusts. Straight line winds, we refer to them very often. They can be mistaken as a tornado as well. They can get upwards of 60, 70, 80, even up towards, but not very often, up to 100 miles an hour. So that's how dangerous these straight line winds can be. But also this linear system is very, very helpful for hail production and very large hail production in, in that matter. So we will be looking for this to start off just about 9, 10 p.m. on our westernmost counties. And the way things are set up right now, we could see some sunshine poking in through the clouds in Monroe and Appanoose County, maybe down into Putnam County as well. That will cook up the atmosphere a little bit more, creating a very unstable environment, which is very helpful if you want severe weather. So that unfortunately is a possibility that will play out, but we are going to continue to track this through the area, through the overnight hours into the early morning. So we are going to be holding on to very strong storms throughout the evening hours. So you're going to need to stay weather aware through the overnight. But as you're getting up, getting out the door for work on Thursday morning, you may be dealing with some down power lines. If we do get those straight line winds in excess of 60, 70, 80 or so miles an hour, damaging hail. If you can get your car underneath some awnings, get them inside at all. That is highly recommended as hail production could be extremely dangerous through those overnight hours, but we're not done just yet. Heading in towards Thursday afternoon between 3 p.m. to 10 p.m. on Thursday, that's when we're going to be looking for our next round. It's these isolated and discrete supercells that could be popping up and expanding into our area and impacting us with yet another round of plenty of rain, strong to damaging winds, as well as hail. Hail damage would be more apparent in Thursday's scenario due to a less linear progression. Rainfall amounts looking to be quite high for a few of our areas, upwards of two inches at times. For some of us, this model is running rather low compared to what a couple earlier ones were doing. So I do expect to see more rainfall running in, but we will be picking up plenty more as we get in through Friday afternoon with some of our high end areas like Monroe and Appanoose County seeing close to two to two and a half inches. And as for your extended forecast, a pleasant weekend is ahead. Now stick with us. We'll be right back.